another vein of Korean martial arts has been handed down through Buddhist monks. Whenever the destiny of the country was at stake, monks organized army units and fought against invading forces. The heroic episodes of monks Seo San and Sa Myung Dang, who fought against the Japanese in the 16th century, are but part of many examples. The Buddhist martial arts of Korea have a close relationship with sitting meditation. Because they must sit on the floor for a long time, monks did some physical exercises both before and after meditating. Such exercises are said to have become the basis for the Buddhist martial arts. Let us view the club technique, a favourite of monks in ancient Korea. The clubs used are divided into short, intermediate and long clubs. We are looking at a kind of intermediate club dance, a series of attack and defence stances connected together. Old Korean paintings often took up Taoists carrying long sticks as a theme. The paintings could well be regarded as historic evidence which implies the use of long club techniques. A demonstration on the use of a short club which twists and turns, pierces and hits vital spots on the human body. Sagacious masters of yesterday could defend themselves by the use of a short club of only some 20 centimetres in length. Korean Buddhism has an age-old tradition of defending the country. Whenever the country lay in the midst of turmoil, Buddhists rose following the teachings of Buddha, mercy on all living beings, and defending the country to save the distressed masses. The history of Korea's Buddhist struggle is a reflection of warm brotherhood and the spirit of territorial defence. <laughs>